Welcome back to another episode of the Arid Survival Series. This is episode 3, and if you haven't watched the previous two, we basically started off with a group, done some PvP, progressed through all of the bunkers, and visited both dead zones. We also did a ton of raiding, including a huge tower base and a live raid. If you guys haven't seen the previous two episodes, they will be in the description below. Also, last video we did a giveaway, and this is the winner. If you are watching this, please join my Discord and DM me there. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like. Let's try to reach 300 likes. You guys reach each like goal, and I really appreciate it. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. Each one helps the channel grow. We're going to do another crafted mythical giveaway and this time it's a decked out green scaler to enter make sure that you've liked the video subscribed and comment down something below and let's get straight into the video all right so we're going to do another horde beacon all right we should be all here so i'm gonna place it i have myself quite a ton of ammo hopefully it's going to be enough now we're going to do a couple of horde beacons this is not the only one we've already did one till now i uh, we did get some okay loot we got we got some armory key cards so that's pretty good the zombies are actually pretty strong to be honest i mean i think we're like how much we're like five people doing this horde so obviously we're gonna get some OP zombies, but at the end we'll get some good loads. Right, he should be very low actually. We've been shooting at him for quite a long time now. Oh, there we go. He's dead. All right. Second horde beacon finished. Hopefully some good loot. Looks like, uh, well, explosive compounds. I didn't really get to see, but a lot of metal. And yeah, there's some of the HQ fabric as well. I don't know if they got anything special, though. I really have no idea. All right. So we're going to continue the horde beacons later. Now we're just going to run around loot. Now we do need gunpowder in order to continue, I think. So we just need to farm ourselves like AP shells. And we might even go to the dead zone zone. Obviously, today we're going to probably raid and look for some PvP. I still haven't started my base yet, actually, either. So I might start to do that today as well. Oh, there's a guy there. Oh, he's dead. There's a mega zombie as well, actually. Oh, he's not on me. Let's check out what loot this guy had. Looks like some guns, Zolash, a bunch of random junk. He has a blowtorch as well. Uh, two gas canisters, some food as well. Yeah, he didn't have anything that good, though. Nothing that we actually really need. He had a steely, so I guess maybe we're behind a heli or something like that. Wait, what? Wait, he's back already. And right, then he's getting TP from a friend. So there's his buddy somewhere around here, which might be geared as well. Alright, so my friends actually found his friend, so and they killed him. He had uh, an AR, okay. Nothing too special though. Yeah, these guys were kind of new, I guess. Alright, so apparently for the next horde, I'm gonna need to find Copper Coil. And I think probably one of the best areas to actually get it is from AG18. So I'm gonna loot around here really quickly, and then after that, we're probably going to do a horde. Alright, time for another horde beacon. We actually have another one after this one as well. To be honest, I don't even know what the best things that you could get from the Horde Beacon are. I guess you can get a lot of metal. And I guess the armor key cards can be good. Because then from there you can get explosive compounds from Fort Knell. But other than that, like, I don't really know what's the best items that you could get. Gunpowder for sure. Oh, shit. He actually has a bu- Oh, he's dead. Right. He almost killed me as well, actually. Alright, any insane loot. Uh, Gunpowder. Floppy disks, some some of those OP grenades, key card, a bunch of ammo. Alright, we're gonna place the other one next. Mega zombie is dead as well. Let's check out what this horde beacon actually dropped us. Looks like metal, uh, more key cards, gunpowder. Yeah, pretty much the same. I actually don't know what DCDs are useful for. Uh, nobody is picking them up. I'm gonna assume that maybe we could trade them inside the safe zone or something. All right, so apparently there are people. I'm gonna switch to Nemesis. All right, well, he's dead. All right, yeah, I got them both. Somebody driving a car as well. I think people heard us like doing the hordes and stuff, so they're gonna try to counter us. I did just kill that dude. I'm gonna go check out what loot they had. Yeah, that car kept driving away, I think. I really don't know what happened. Alright, yeah, this is their bodies. Uh, he had OZ. Yeah, nothing too special. This guy had another use. Oh, saw chain. I don't really need those, but I guess I could take it. So we're back in base. Uh, I still have a horde beacons on me, but I guess we'll do them later. Actually going to craft our rocket launcher, and apparently we're gonna get ourselves like a secret achievement and unturned or something like that. Yes, sir. Alright, we crafted it and we got ourselves an achievement. Yeah, let's go. Alright, so I'm currently solo on the server. Uh, it's pretty early in the morning and nobody is really on. So I'm gonna take the time to build my own base. Obviously, I'm going to build right next to theirs. I just want a small base, to be honest. Uh, and I'm going to farm as much logs as possible. I took this APC and I'm filling it all up with logs. Uh, because, you know, we don't really have any space in our inventory.
All right, and base is done. I pretty much built a two-floor base. Nothing really that special, though. I'm gonna make myself some crates. Now, maybe, actually, if I have, like, a couple of more planks... Yeah, I can make, like, a large book. So, I'll probably go chop down myself another tree so that we can craft the big one. I think I still have a log inside the APC. Oh, no, I don't. Never mind. Okay, yeah, I gotta get myself... A couple of things then. No problem. Alright, so I was gone for a bit and apparently a friend was raiding a base. And there's a bunch of loot on the ground. Before it despawns or whatever, I'm gonna have to take as much stuff as possible. Alright, yeah, there's actually quite a ton of junk in here. I, I mean, there's nothing really that insane special. It's just like full of all these adamantium, all of these guns, all of this ammo. There's a guy in here. Right, he's dead. Let's go. Uh, he has a... Okay, well, he has a bunch of guns, a bunch of ammo, nothing too special though. Alright, so next we're gonna go and do some raids. They apparently know a big raid, so that's what we're going to go for next. Alright, so this is the race we're raiding. Uh, they're using MGL, I think, which apparently they said that it's not really that OP. Even though it kind of broke off the base with Toe. Alright, we're getting some progress done. It should be pretty damaged though, if it, hasn't, if it doesn't break by this one, then yeah, there we go. Alright, there's already some loot on the floor, I already see a toolbox, a bunch of guns, adamantium, uh, some night vision parts, HQ fabric, MK pace. Over here, there's a bunch of armor by the looks of it, rock sacks, a bunch of good PvP guns as well. Over here, looks like there's a bunch of junk, another toolbox, P90, yeah, more clothes. Alright, well, nothing that insane. I guess if we scrap everything, we're gonna get ourselves, like, a bunch of good stuff. I got myself a honeybee, and yeah, there's a lot of night vision parts in here as well. Oh, he's gonna place a C4. I have no idea what he's actually gonna blow up. Okay, there's a bit more loot here. Looks like uh, a missile or whatever that is. All right, yeah, nothing too crazy though. There's a bunch of charcoal. All right, I'm gonna let them take whatever the hell they want. I'm gonna take that gunpowder as well. But in terms of raiding gear, we definitely didn't profit. But we did get ourselves a bunch of other stuff, which could be kind of useful, I guess. All right, so I don't know what the hell we just found, but apparently this base was getting raided or something. Uh, I could salvage these reloading tools from here. Can I salvage anything else? Anvil. There's a sentry up there as well. Okay, right, there's sentries in here. Oh, that could be a bit annoying, actually. Looks like there's a lot of loot in there, actually. It looks like, like, it's not fully actually raid. Yeah, there's loot on the floor as well. Oh, this could be some easy loot. Wait, it, oh, oh, yeah, the grenade just fell right in front of me. I don't know why they decided to throw a grenade. Oh, okay, well, that sentry, uh, doesn't break with any random bullet. Oh, wait, what? Wait, I am... Okay, well, that, apparently that was a guy. I think that might have been the owner. Right, well, I'm slowly picking up stuff randomly here and there. Yeah, I'm getting killed from the sentry all the time. That sentry over there is actually annoying. So, I don't know how we're gonna deal with it, but we're trying to figure out a way to actually go to the second roof. But it's it's been kind of annoying. But this pillar over here is actually helping out. Getting actually a lot of stuff from this, to be honest. Alright, so we managed to get it all the way up here. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any raiding gear right now, so can't really raid everything, but there was a lot of loot on the floor. So we are technically profiting from this because we didn't use any raiding gear. The sentry over there, thankfully, is out of ammo, or else we would have been killed a long time ago. Alright, so I did actually profit from this heavily. I got a bunch of guns, I got some documents back, which I can go ex and exchange. There's still a lot of loot down here, but nothing really that important. We're probably gonna go back to base and depot, because I don't really want to run around with all of these loot. Alright, so uh, we just found the guy inside this base, and he's like being talked toxic or something he's like sending us to raid them and all of that so that's exactly what we're going to do uh we are quite a ton of people but yeah we found a live base wait what all right we just decided to run out i guess i have no idea what he's trying to do uh yeah he didn't have anything good i got night vision though let's go all right we're starting to raid through the base uh inside it's full of dementium so it might take us a while and the server does have base health so hopefully we have enough because we're only raiding with amr ammo oh wait what Oh wait, they're raiding inside. Oh, okay. Oh, they, they killed the owner as well. Alright, well, there's um a lot of adamantium, actually. A lot of red circuit board, gas mask, a lot of gunpowder there. Golden Zolash. There's actually a, a bunch of guns in here. Another biohazard, clothes, MK Pay, rescue saw. Alright, well, there's actually quite some loot in here. That's pretty good. I don't know if there's anything else behind this door. I think there is, actually. Well, I didn't really get to take anything from this, to be honest. So I'm just gonna take some stuff that I need. Uh, we could take these iridium bars as well. I'm gonna take that subsonic ammo. It's good for Nemesis. I'm pretty sure that they destroyed this bed as well, so it's no longer alive. Alright, so the server just shut down. I think it actually just wiped. I'm saying that the server is gonna wipe, and I think it literally just happened. So we literally just finished that raid, and uh, yeah, it looks like it's gonna wipe. Alright, well, uh, we're probably gonna 
continue next wipe then and uh, hopefully we'll get ourselves a good wipe as well if you guys don't want to see the next wipe let me know in the comment section below like drop a like all of that uh, it was a lot of fun i did join the wipe quite late but we did get some good content as well all right everybody this is going to be it for this video i really hope that you enjoy thank you all so much for watching again if you guys want to see the next wipe let me know in the comment section below and i will see you on the next one bye